Hello, I'm Landis and this is Subnautica. In this guide, I'll be showing you possibly the earliest and safest location to gather both of the ingredients to make aerogel. First thing we're going to do is head to the zero point. If you don't have your own zero point or are unaware of how to bring up coordinates in game, then please click the link in the card and that will take you to a video that should explain it for you. Now we're going to head a thousand meters southwest heading towards the wreck in the sparse reef. I also realize I've covered the aerogel in quite a bit of depth in both the let's play and the guides. I even have individual guides for both of the ingredients. But with aerogel being one of the few if not the only blueprint that unlocks from picking up an unknown ingredient, it does seem to confuse a lot of newer players including myself, if you've not seen the Let's Play, I struggled for a very long time with it. We are heading to the wreck in the Sparse Reef, and as such we'll not be encountering any hostiles. You will need a Seamoth with at least Depth Module Mark 1, but I would advise Depth Module Mark 2, or a Sea Glide and a Rebreather. You'll know you're in the right biome when everything goes this lovely green colour and starts to go a bit murky. It's definitely worth traveling as close to the sea floor as possible when you're in sparse reef as you can't see very far normally. When you arrive at the wreck, this is the hole you're after. Any of the holes will do, but the bigger one seems to be better. As you can see here, we've got these funny little glowing purple things. These are gel sacks. And these are the ingredients required to make aerogel. Decreased. It's also the ingredient that unlocks the blueprint. The other thing you'll want is rubies. Conveniently we have one here. Both of these things glow in the dark. It's quite convenient because we're in a very dark biome. You can see there is no shortage of aerogel lying around all over the place and no shortage of rubies lying on the cave walls. Once you've collected all your rubies and gel sacks you should be able to head to any fabricator and craft yourself some aerogel. If you found this video helpful then leave a like. If you enjoyed this video then perhaps subscribe to check out the rest of the channel. If there's anything you'd like to see or know, then leave a comment and let us know. I've been Landis, this has been Subnautica. Thank you very much and see you soon.